Happy Throwback Thursday to you, Movie Misfits. And since it's Throwback Thursday, that means another episode of... Junk Drawer Flicks. In this episode of Junk Drawer Flicks, we do not need to go into the junk drawer because we did a poll on this one. And the winner would be... Cobra, starring Sylvester Stallone, Bridget Nielsen, and which was released in 1986. A quick little background on this action thriller movie. Originally, Sylvester Stallone was asked to play Detective Axel Foley in the Beverly Hills Cop series. However, when Sylvester Stallone did the quick rewrites on the script, it was less action comedy and more of an action thriller. However, the studios did not like the changes that Sylvester Stallone made to the movie itself, and they said, no, we want to keep it more of an action comedy. And apparently a few weeks before the movie started filming, Sylvester Stallone bowed out. And that's when Eddie Murphy came into the picture and we got the actual Beverly Hills Cop movie. And I'm actually glad Sylvester Stallone did not do Beverly Hills Cop. It probably still would have been a cool movie. It would have been a lot different. This would have been a straight action movie. However, since he bowed out, Eddie Murphy took on the role and Eddie Murphy made it his own and it became an instant classic. And a couple years later, we got Cobra. Which, and which basically probably would have been how Beverly Hills Cop would have been if Sylvester Stallone would have stayed with the project. So we got two great movies out of this. So now let's take a look at Cobra starring Sylvester Stallone, who's basically playing a detective who's taking on a cult of serial killers, who basically by night take their axes and hunt random people. And only one man can stop them. Well, two men. Cobra and his partner. So when this cult's not around killing people, they're actually hanging out in a very hot room making clingy clangy sounds with their axes. And we are now introduced to our first bad guy, actor Marco Rodriguez. How bad is he, you ask? He's this bad. That's just a jerky thing to do, come on, man. No. To be fair, he's not a fan of Christmas decorations. Thanksgiving is more of his holiday. Here comes Cobra, and he's not afraid to bow down to their sponsors. This might be the only shot we get to see Sylvester Stallone ever drinking a beer. I'm a hero. You're looking at a fucking hunter. I'm a hero of the new world. Poster shot. So this clip always makes me giggle a little bit because Sylvester Stallone just stabbed him with a knife and then tells him to drop his weapon and then shoots him. I don't know, it always seems kind of like off to me. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. It just always makes me kind of giggle. And don't worry about actor Marco Rodriguez. He's fine. He's on his way now to the set of Maniac Cop 2 to play the exact same character. As I said before, this is a good look at what Beverly Hills Cop would have looked like if Sylvester Stallone would have taken that part. Hell, you can even hear the Axel Foley theme in the background here. You've never eaten pizza until you've eaten the way Sylvester Stallone eats it. And to be perfectly honest, this makes sense how he eats it. No wonder why he's so lean. Now, I won't be going through the entire movie because I'm actually running out of disc space on here. Also, this movie has some great 80s action sequences. We get some great car chases. We get some great gunfights. 
we get some great explosions. Also, this movie has a lot of elements of horror in it as well, because you're dealing with a cult, a cult with axes, and there's also a lot of elements of Halloween Part 2 in here, uh, just because of the whole hospital sequence. I won't go into full detail on it because it's very reminiscent to Halloween Part 2. When you watch it, you can kind of see it, especially if you're a horror fan. This movie has multiple villains in it, so it's not just one. But we do get one main slasher in this movie, and he's actually pretty freaking awesome in this. He's a combination of Michael Myers and the Terminator. In the most recent years, Sylvester Stallone's been making sequels to his famous characters, such as Rocky, Rambo. He's also been expanding the Expendables universe. I would like to see a sequel to Cobra, because I do think this movie is very underrated. And it does technically have a low score on Rotten Tomatoes, I'm not sure why. This movie has everything 80s embodied. It has action, has elements of horror, it has thriller. We have some great villains, we got some great shootout scenes, we got some great car scenes. We got some great practical action effects going on here, all in the camera. And this movie is very underrated, I'm not sure why. So if you've seen Cobra, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen Cobra, go check it out. It is definitely worth a watch. It's an easy watch, and it's just great action popcorn fun with a little bit of horror involved in it as well. And I say check it out before someone decides to remake it, because I would not be surprised if we got a PG version of this movie starring The Rock and Kevin Hart. So better check it out before someone else decides to ruin it. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'm Mike the Movie Misfit, and I'll see you at the movies. Yeah. yeah. I always wanted to have a tougher one myself. You know, something a little harder than me. Like what? Alice. <laughs> Get more out of life. Go out to a movie.